Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. Welcome to Make and Take Tuesday. This is a little weekly series that I do here on my YouTube channel where I introduce you to a new tool, a new paper collection, a new technique, um, a new product, and we make something beautiful together. Today, I'm really excited. I have the plant department from Prima. I have the six by six, and I have the 12 by 12, which has the gold foil. And I just want to show you quickly, this is a beautiful collection. It is just delicate. The patterns are stunning. Um, the gold foil is just beautiful. This gor these gorgeous arches. It has wonderful peacocks, roses, florals. And then the back side of this is absolutely beautiful too. I actually like the back side better than the front. Here's this gorgeous garden gate. And then the back side is more, I'll tear this out so you can see, more of these beautiful trailing florals. This is just a wonderful distressed page. And the back side is the same, only muted and without the foil. And then here's this beautiful, this makes me think of cherry blossoms. I don't know why, but look at this gold foiling down here. Really, really pretty. Backside again, really gorgeous. Of course, the 12 by 12 is great for layouts. I'm a card maker, but it's also good for off the page products, projects. And then there's this wonderful cut apart page. So I have that. I have the six by six. And then I have the puffy stickers, which I've never used before, so that will be fun. I have the ephemera pack, which is gold foiled and has two of each of these designs. I have the, this is another ephemera pack, and this is like all kinds of wonderful, well look. These could these work really well. There's not a lot of strong focal images. This is mostly just backgrounds. So this is what you would use that for. Then the rub-ons, which are super fun. Three sheets of rub-ons. Chipboard with all these beautiful images. Ephemera. I got the tags, which are in all the shades, and then the tickets which are super sweet. And I think that's everything. Oh, and I have a couple of packs of flowers just to match the colors, really pretty. Um, and then also today we're gonna be using, this is old, but I love this, Graphic 45 Square Tag and their uh, policy envelope tag. We're gonna be using a uh, die, we're gonna be using those. And we're going to make a project. I'll show you in just a minute. This is a special request from y'all, so I am following through. So what are we gonna make? Well, I decided to make this garden-themed little fairy tea party in a box. And I've dressed this up with some goodies from Renee Bouquet's. I will link those on my blog, and I'll put the link to my blog in the description box below. I've added some prills, this ivy, this leaf, and this beautiful Tree of Life ATC from Renee Bouquet's, along with the dragonfly, which, whew, this dragonfly is pretty, and our little flower fairy. Added some little charms at the top, a little lilac seam binding bow, more of the Prima flowers, we're gonna have a dangle charm on the back. Really cute, butterfly, dragonfly, key, mushroom, and a feather, kind of fairy themed. Here it is open this way, and then it opens out this way. You guys have asked me and asked me to make this, so here we go. Here are our fun flap pages. Room for journaling, room for a photo, room to tuck in a gift card and then our box pocket filled with our tea party in a box. So if you like the looks of this, now you don't have to take yours fairy themed. I was just in the mood to do that. Um, you can make yours any way you want to make it. 
So if you're ready to get started and learn how to make this, hang around. Here comes the tutorial. All right, let's get started putting this sweet little tag tea party in a box together. I have two of the Graphic 45 Ivory Square tags, and mine are left over from when I was on their design team. So they have the laser cut, but the plain ones are fine. You want to turn these upside down so you see how the finished grommet is on the front. We want these here. And in the interest of time, I went ahead and I painted the edges with a gold paint. We're gonna add the spine inside. So I've cut two three inch by four inch pieces of my six by six paper, and I've scored three inch flaps on the left and on the right. And I've lined these little flaps with my score tape. So I'm gonna line these up, and we're basically just adding the spine here. So you can see I've got this nice and straight. I've got it centered where I want it and I'm just gonna press this down on each side of this tag. Why do we do it this way? Because this way you don't see the, um, and I wanna make sure I'm even here along the bottom. You don't, you don't see the spine, it kind of disappears. You don't see it. And that is what I want. All right. So we're lined up. And I'm going to glue that down. Then I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Because I, I want this to be good and sturdy. Um, this paper is a little thin. So I'm going to do the exact same thing here. So I'm doubling my paper up. Oops. Almost forgot. I need to put adhesive down here. Same thing over here. So see, now you've got this little book. And you just fold along your scored lines. And now you've got this little book with a one and a half inch spine. Super, super simple, right? I bet you didn't think it was that easy, but it is. So on the inside, I have prepared, find my cover, okay. I want this gold foil piece on my front cover. So I'm gonna glue this down, oops. And then this piece is my back cover. And you can see that I have um, inked up all these edges just to be consistent. But see, now when you do this, your little flaps completely disappear. All right, so flip it to the inside. And I'm going to do this page that's on the right first. This is going to be where our box pocket goes. And these are cut from the six by six. Some of these are cut from six by six. Anything that has gold foil is cut from the one sheet of 12 by 12. All right, so glue that down. Now, over here, before I glue down, I have cut some little flip pages because I thought this would be fun. So bring in your scoring tool, place your tag 
at one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and score another eighth of an inch in there because it makes it turn nicely. And this goes, see how fun that is? This goes Line it up. Back behind on this side. And then I've got this one, and I only want to score a half an inch on this one. Look how fun that is. Before you glue this down, bring in your corner rounder. And I'm just doing like this so that we're consistent. Look how sweet that is, you guys. I like that. That's fun. I'm just going to ink my corners with the little gathered twigs. And my edges also with the little gathered twigs. All right, and then we're going to glue this down inside. So I've got this fun I do want to place page. magnets to hold these flaps closed. So I've put my one basic gray adhesive disc, these are the small ones, on the inside flap. I've peeled the adhesive off the top. I'm going to fold this flap over and pull it back. And now our magnets are perfectly placed. And I like to, just for extra insurance, I like to take a little piece of score tape to hold them in place all right and then you can cover these up with an ephemera bit with a sentiment with whatever you want to use there but there you go see now they don't flop around which is nice all okay. right we need to build our pocket now we want to build our pocket and the width that we want our pocket to be is four and the height that we want our pocket to be is two so we want three quarter inch sides on our pocket but we need to score two lines for each of those. So that's an extra inch and a half on each side, which equals three, because one and a half plus one and a half is three, plus four is seven. And then if we want it two inches high, we have to add another inch and a half to that to make it three and a half. Does that make sense to you? So we're gonna put the three inch, three and a half inch side here. We're gonna go one, two, three, score. And one, two, three, score. Let's see how that takes us right to two. Now turn it to your seven inch side and go one, two, three, score. And one, two, three, score. Flip it this way and go one, two, three, score. One, two, three, score. All right. So we come in with our scissors and these outsides we cut off completely, okay, on both sides. And it's easier to do this, the cutting, before you fold, because um, the scissor will bulk on those scored lines. So do yourself a favor and do the cutting before you do the folding. And let me trim this one out just a little bit cleaner. Then come down to the bot to this inside score line and just cut straight up to the the second horizontal line. All right, and then come back in on the inside edge and cut a little triangle out. And 
and that's just going to make everything fold nicely. Now you can come in with your bone folder and I can see I want to trim this out a little bit neater. There we go. That's better. So score. I mean, fold on that scored line, your verticals, and then fold and crease on your horizontals. Okay, so now you've got this. Flip this guy over. To trim these so they'll fit a little bit better too. Can you see how you're like sort of creating a tab? All right. So I'm making sure I'm lined up inside my scored lines because that matters. And I'm going to put my adhesive on these tabs. And you can use, you know, whatever kind of adhesive you want. You just want. A strong adhesive and I will tell you this is 110 pound cardstock I like I like using heavy cardstock for these box pockets so now can you see how this just wants to roll into place and then you come in here and you glue that tab down into the bottom same thing here this wants to roll in and then just line up your corners make sure your corners are lined up and press that tab down into the bottom of your pocket. Then fold this piece up, these pieces over, place your adhesive, keeping everything neat and square. Okay. And now you've got this great little box pocket that's going to sit right here. And you see it's gonna, you're going to have plenty of clearance, even with your extra flaps over here. So now I'm going to show you how to line this. Okay, so I've cut a five and a half by two and three quarter inch piece of my designer paper. And I scored three quarter inches on each side and three quarter inches on the bottom. And then I cut our little tabs in, just like I did before. Now come in and you're gonna put your adhesive on your tabs. And again, these want to roll into place, just like this, and make your corners neat and square. This is like making a cornice, an old timey cornice for a window. Remember, I don't know, that, I guess I just gave my age away, but I remember cornice windows. They were all the rage. If you were really stylish, you had cornices on your windows and they fit right over. So I'm just adding my adhesive to the inside and I do test mine before I fold and glue to make sure that everything fits. So now this slips right over your box pocket, just like this. And I'm just going to come in and ink my edges very quickly and along the top. So now we can install this. Okay. 
and I'm lining it up with my spine oops and then equidistant on each side and then just come in with your bone folder and press it into place now all you have to do is decorate this the way you want to. You can use whatever paper you like. You can use whatever theme you like. I have a fun theme and I'm gonna finish decorating mine and I'll come back and show you what I made. So here we go. Here's a look at the finished product. I dressed mine up like a little fairy garden. I've added a Renee Bouquet's dragonfly and her sweet little flower fairy. Some of the Prima flowers and some twine bows little charms up here, dangle charm on the spine. And then here's the inside with our box pocket, our finished flip pages. You can see I just added some goodies in here, made a little pocket here. And then in the pocket, I used my policy envelope to make this little tea wallet. So these go in here and the chocolate goes in here. And then you're just gonna take, I put foam tabs back behind my stringers. I don't know, what do you call these? The little tabs that you wrap the string around. And then this will go in the pocket, super cute. All right, so let me trim that. So if you put this in first and you put the spoon back behind it, dressed up my honey stick with a little bit of a flower on top, then our cookie goes in over here on the side. It does all fit. Actually, I put the cookie in first. There we go. Cookie in, then this back behind it. There we go. Now we're cooking. And our tag okay so that's a look at the finished project I hope you have fun with it and uh, thanks so much for joining me Kathy Clement Kathy by design make and take Tuesday go get your craft on bye <laughs>